In this video, I'm going to find the mixed strategies Nash equilibrium of this particular game of chicken. And this video actually goes along with another video I did on evolutionarily stable and unstable Nash equilibrium. This game is actually stable. You can watch that in the other video. But today I just want to go over uh, how do you find the mixed strategies Nash equilibrium here? And there's two strategies for doing this. One is you want to choose a probability of going hawk, probability of the hawk strategy, that makes the other player indifferent between their strategies. So to do that, we're of course going to have to figure out what is the payoff of choosing Hawk. And I'm going to say the payoff to player one from choosing Hawk. It doesn't actually matter here because this is a symmetric game, like the players have the same uh, payoffs if you flip it. But we'll just go with player one, what's their payoff from going Hawk? If the other player, that is player two, mixes between hawk and dove with a probability of p going hawk and a probability of 1 minus p going dove. So if that happens, the probability of going hawk is p, the payoff to going hawk for player 1 is negative 1, plus the probability of going the other player going dove is 1 minus p. The payoff to player 1 if the other player goes dove is 4, and then similarly, the payoff to player one of going dove is going to be equal to, well, if player one goes dove, the, the expected payoff is going to be the probability of encountering a hawk times the payoff if the, you encounter a hawk, that probability is p. The payoff if you encounter a hawk is zero, plus the probability you encounter a dove, which is one minus p times the payoff to us as player one from going dove in that scenario is one. Now player one will be indifferent when the payoff from going hawk is equal to the payoff of going dove, so you simply set these two things equal to one another and solve for p. And when we do that, we get p equals three-fourths is going to be the mixed strategies Nash equilibrium. Now, of course, I could redo this for payoff to player two of going hawk, but it would look exactly the same since it's a symmetric problem. So let me show you the other method for doing this, which involves optimization problems if you know how to take first order conditions and whatnot. Let me do that. In this case, I'm going to let player one mix with a probability of q and one minus q. And player one is going to control q so we maximize player one's objective function by choosing q, choosing the probability that you go hawk, probability you go dove. So what is the total payoff function here? Well, it's q, the probability you go hawk, times the payoff if you go hawk, which is, we, we just figured this out, and this is going to be, well, I'll, I'll go ahead and do it. It's going to be p times negative one, plus one minus p times four, plus one minus q, that's the probability that we as player one choose dove, times the payoff if we choose dove, and that payoff is p times zero, plus one minus p times one. Let me simplify this. All of this simplifies down to this, and then we take our first order conditions, and the derivative of this payoff function with respect to q is going to be equal to negative 4p plus 3. And we set our first e order condition equal to 0. And if you solve this little mini equation, what you're going to get is p equals 3 fourths. Now, you notice it's a little bit weird that we set up an optimization problem trying to decide what we as player one should choose for our mix, that's Q, and what popped out of it had nothing to do with Q, it had to do with P, the other player's mix. And that's how mixed strategies Nash equilibrium works. You can use either method depending on what you're most comfortable with, but yeah, that's how you do it.